Hi, this is Glenn Tribitz, and today I'd like to talk about one of my very favorite pianos in the whole world. That's the Mason and Hamlin, made right here in the good old USA, outside of Boston and Haverhill, Massachusetts. Now, I've had the good fortune to visit this factory on a few occasions, and I have to say, it's just amazing. And if you're ever in Haverhill, Massachusetts, you can take the tour yourself and see how they build these amazing hand-built works of art. And they do them in any finish you can imagine, and they'll even do any color that you can possibly imagine. But what sets these pianos apart? Well, it's the musicality. They have a sustaining tone that go on practically forever. The sound dies out only after it's sustained for a good amount of seconds. And I'd have to say that the piano embodies what we call that great old American sound of hand-built American instruments. And its main competitor, of course, is Steinway. And everybody knows Steinway is a really nice piano, but I say to you, if you're, if you're thinking of a Steinway, it, you really owe it to yourself to try the Mason and Hamlin. First of all, it's made in a very similar fashion, but the difference is the Mason and Hamlin rim is considerably thicker. Uh, for example, a, a seven-foot Mason and Hamlin weighs as much as a nine-foot Steinway. That's because the rim is thicker and it has a full perimeter plate. And Mason and Hamlin has technology that no other piano company has, like the Wessel, Nickel and Gross carbon fiber action. It's the only action which is completely carbon fiber. There's another company that makes carbon fiber actions, but they're not 100% because the hammer shank is still wood. And that means it expands, contracts. The Mason and Hamlin is always perfect. This is the hammer shank. And this is the Mason and Hamlin Wessel, Nickel, and Gross carbon fiber action. They say it might last for a hundred years or more. Regular wood parts dry out and crack and you hear of pianos needing to be rebuilt. So if you really want to give your family an heirloom that will last forever, this is it. In addition to that technology, they have a technology that was developed oh, about 100 years ago, and that's the crown retention system. It's amazing because we see Mason and Hamlins that are 100 years old and they still sing. Where other pianos have lost their crown, Mason and Hamlin retains its crown because of this ingenious system, which you only find on a Mason and Hamlin piano. So in the Mason and Hamlin line, there's just one model of upright. That's called the Model 50. It's 50 inches tall. And if you can't afford a grand piano or if you don't have room for a grand piano, this is a great alternative with a working sustenuto pedal. Some people think the Model 50 is the best upright made today. You can be the judge of that, but listen to this grand piano-like sound. Listen to that sustain, keep going. Still going. And then in grands, they have everything from a baby grand, which is a Model B, five foot four. They have a Model A, five foot eight. So the Mason and Hamlin Model A is the second baby grand in the line. The first one is the Model B, it's a five foot four. So here's the Model A. The thing that's interesting about the Model A the string length and the sounding board area is bigger than many pianos that are six foot plus.
They have a model double A, which is six foot four. This is a magical piano, it's only six foot four. It will outplay most other pianos seven foot and above. They have a double B, which is seven foot. The Mason and Hamlin double B has been a favorite of world-class pianists and composers ever since it was introduced. And one of the reasons is this seven foot piano sounds like a nine foot piano. Listen. that sound that just goes on forever because of the density and the thickness of this rim. Big CC, which is a nine foot four concert grand. Now we generally have all of the models in stock, including the concert grand. This is the granddaddy of the Mason and Hamlin line and probably one of the largest concert grands made at nine foot four. It's a good uh, five to six inches longer than the competing piano from the S brand. And this, what's, what I like about this concert grand is it has the power that you expect. power you expect from a concert grand, but where many concert grands fall down is playing pianissimos, and this will do that very, very beautifully. You hear the beautiful pianissimo. A little last top G. It's a little bit out of tune with that, but you get an idea of the, the subtlety of the pianissimos you can get from this piano. So I invite you to come and check them out. If you're in the market for a premium piano, you really owe it to yourself to try these amazing instruments. I mean, I can't say it enough. They just sound beautiful. They play like butter, and they're fantastic. So come, check them out, play them, listen to them. I'm sure you're going to be very impressed. So please, subscribe to our channel, like us, and we'll look forward to seeing you on our next segment. This is Glenn Tribe. It's from Hollywood Piano saying bye for now.